Hello, and welcome to the last Tea Break Talk of 2022. So, where has the year gone? Amazing, it's just flown by. Um, yeah, so quite a lot has happened. Um, we've had a fair few vans in and out, tried to do a few little videos of bits and bobs that we've um, really liked. So we're gonna do another um, really popular conversion uh, run through so this is a u-shape interior so we've fitted quite a few of these u-shapes into um, mainly t5s and t6s we've done a couple of vivaros um, and a traffic and a transit so they do fit in other vans we just got to describe them a bit be careful of the length um surprisingly although the vivaros and traffics are a square of van they um, and not as long, um, which surprised me uh, that, you know, so we had to do quite a bit of adaptions to, you know, to make them work and look nice, uh, but it's all possible. Uh, if you want to see pictures of the Vivaro one, they're on our website and they're on our Instagram. So you can have a look at over on that. But this is a absolutely stunning Starlight Blue T6. Um, one of my favorites that we, we've had in. This is nice because it's not got a pop top and I kind of like it for that. So it's not that it's like really stealthy camping, but it's, um, I think they do look nicer, don't they? They are cleaner uh, looking. Uh, and of course you don't get any of that heat loss. Major issue that you can't stand up in it. So that's a big consideration, but you know, does mean that we can make the roof look a little bit nicer inside, not so cluttered as what it is with a, a pop top. But horses for courses, isn't it? So something to suit everybody. So this is a tin top van um, with a U-shape interior and quite refreshingly, somebody who doesn't want to cook in the van. So quite like that. Although I don't think I could ever do completely without a cooker because we'd always want to do, you know, like a cup of tea or a coffee or perhaps the odd emergency meal inside if you really had to. I'm not a big one for cooking in the van if I can help it. We like to cook outside. So this is a great example of how we can modify and just twist it to suit um, customers' right, desire to still have a van that you can use to cook with, but not inside. So we've done something slightly different. And we'll get onto that when we show you the interior of the van. So let's swap the camera around and we'll show you inside. So most importantly, this is the entrance into the van. So here we've got um, our latest floor. So we've done a Candine floor on this one, and this is in a sort of ship deck style. Be careful how we say that. So it's got the dark oak strips running through it, and it does look really rather lovely. Uh, the best thing about the Candine is it's totally waterproof. You know, you could drop something on there, it spills that are easily wipe upable. And if you really did damage one of the little panels, you can remove them. There is a glued down system, so you obviously got to put a decent sub base uh, for your floor on there and then glue the Candine strips onto the, the top. So we've done that with the added little details in between. So that is lovely, absolutely love that. This particular U shape, if you can just about see it, is uh, like the Buffalo, the, the hexaboard style, which again is quite a nice finish, very different, a bit more sort of um, utilitarian. It's probably a bit harsh for it, really. It's not utilitarian, so it's still a really lovely, um, nice laminate with a, this interesting print on it. So yeah, I love that gloss black fridge that we've put in here, followed the detailing, on through so you've got the, the boards on the backs of the seats just to cover them up they look nice on there so here we go it's the interior of it and in this particular van we've added the candine floor uh, which is really nice alternative sort of quite high end um sort of style and it's in the ship deck sort of format so with the individual planks separated by these darker oak strips so oh, these are a great floor, um, starting to fit a few of these now. Very popular because super hard wearing 
and they're wiped clean. And if you do spill anything on it, it's very easy to quickly mop that up and yeah, it's not gonna impregnate any other flooring. It won't get down in, in those gaps. Uh, great. And if you did manage to damage one of those little panels, you can pull them up and replace them individually. So it's not like a laminate system where they all click together and oh my goodness, you'd have to take everything out just to then remove it um, and then replace one panel. So these are great for that. So really good practical flooring for a camper fan and we love it. Loads of different styles, super finish, really lovely. Um, so we changed the seat in this one. It did have a double, so we've upgraded that to a single. We can get these single seats in the factory style. If you are looking for a factory seat, we can get them. And yeah, we swap them over, put a single uh, swivel on it. And then we've added a, a little bit of detailing. So we've got the hexa board or that buffalo on the backs of the seats and then like the little heater outlet underneath the seat there. Standard fridge in gloss black to match. It is a really interesting finish this hexa board i like it it's um just adds a bit of something to it it's, it's just a, a nice nice pattern yeah it's lovely we've got oak worktop oak table all the usual access uh, points under there we've got a upgrade on our cushions uh in the stone color really really lovely upholstery usual slide out drawer from inside that's gonna hide a load of stuff in there that's brilliant and of course with the short wheel base you then get the additional drawer or door sorry on the side and you can access that slide out drawer quite easily without having to slide that out if you don't want to so we've got that there let's go around to the back of the van and you can see what we've added yes yeah, so here we go so it's the conventional setup at the back of the U-shape. As you can see, all fairly normal. Um, it's got the door in the back there, which drops down. And we've just added a couple of little sockets uh, to the side of it. So we've got 12 volt outlet there next to a 240 volt outlet, which is handy. Door drops down. And now we've got a slide out drawer. We've made the drawer quite big so that the Kadak can sit in there quite nicely and we've got space to stow an additional table, which is in on magnets to keep everything all still. And we've also finished it in the same uh, style as what the interior is. So it's got that really nice sort of hexaboard, buffalo sort of pattern. Usual table rail, which doubles as the handle to pull the drawer out. And of course, then we can lock another table, uh, this one uh, to that, which is really handy to increase your, your um, just your, your space, you know, your work in your prep area. And we really like these Cadacs. They're a great little grill. Um, you can get the little adapter plates to it, which we've got, which then turn it into a nice sort of frying area. So you don't need a separate saucepan. So you've got the plate that goes on it instead. And you can have like the griddle that goes on it as well. So they're great for doing steaks and a bit sort of um, barbecue sort of style stuff. Really, really handy. Um, another great addition that you can put onto the back here, you've got a portable water tank with you. We've got like a, just a little shower out that um, goes into a portable water tank, uses the 12 volt, and then you've got easily something that can rinse down pets, yourself, um, bikes, that kind of stuff. So really, really handy. And we like having this as a pull out drawer. Don't have to use it with a Kadak, you could put anything on there just to, you know, just extra bits and bobs just a bit easier to um, to manage everything isn't it when you can get into it rather than trying to reach into uh, you know like the cupboard itself so um, everything else still functions exactly the same way on the u-shape with its flip over side to make that really big bed which we'll show you just in case you're not familiar with it but nice to have this as a bit of extra space and like i say that just falls up on the top there magnets then keep that still stops that from coming off and then socks those drawer runners pulls it in for the last couple of mil and then keeps that secure in there that's that bit on cadax dead handy because obviously with a portable gas system one you don't have to have huge gas containers on board so it's quite economical 
And three, you can take it out and put it somewhere else if you really want to, you know, and cook away from the van. Um, but because this van's got a tailgate, it works really well. So you've got a sheltered area underneath, um, but hopefully you're not getting too many of those smells going into the van. Uh, so it's keeping it nice and, and fresh. So I'm not sure how familiar you are with the U-shape. Obviously we've got the table here on a removable table leg, Sequoia leg, so they're really nice and uh, simple. Um, gives you a bit of nice seating area around the U-shape itself, so you can get a few people in there, stay in out of any bad weather. So yeah, really lovely in that respect. But we'll flip it over and we'll turn it into the bed so you can see how much sort of space you'd expect to get on the inside of it. Pretty simple to change. This side, the under panel flips over to form the extra bed section. The two cushions that get stowed on the sides then fill that space in the middle there. And there's a little leg that comes down to give that end corner some additional support. It's got a rail going on the opposite side which the board drops down onto for support over on that end and again underneath here. So it's really strong, really nice. So that does give you quite a decent size bed there that if you're looking at that there, you have that rear cushion will stay in position or you can drop it down behind um, that panel in between the tailgate. The other great thing, uh, we had a bit of a measure up earlier and we're confident that it's going to fit well with the Van Shades chair pod. So I think this will be another great setup when you've got Van Shades chair pod on the back there, a couple of chairs stowed away in that. This U shape, again, an amazing setup, very social, nice big bed, gives you plenty of room on the inside of the van um, for general day, you know, um, van activities, that sort of thing, where you're going out, you still want to stay in the van if you want to. Or then you can turn it into a decent sized bed as well without having that huge sort of kitchen and wardrobe down the side there, which we really like. So yeah, ideal for us. Here inside the van, you can see we've created quite a nice little cozy spot. Um, nice paneling going down the side there, oak roof, LED lights. Oh, it's just nice, isn't it? I know we generally tend to follow a bit of a pattern of um, staying away from the rock and roll beds, but there's a reason for that. It's because I'm one. I'm I'm not a big fan. Uh, I think they're really restrictive. I don't think they give a great layout in the van. I understand their practicality. They are a very tried and tested format. If you need seat belts, you are kind of stuck with it. The seat belted versions of these U shapes are pretty ugly. Um, there's none that we like. We've had a look at them. They're just um, too bulky, too heavy, um, not particularly nice. So horses for courses again. You know, there's a format that's going to suit everybody and you know give you what you want with your van. And for us, um, very much into that social um, seating area, which is more natural, it's very comfortable. And of course it does give you a bigger bed, you know, it's, it's, it's nice from that respect. You can't put a price on um, decent night's kip. So if you can get a better sized bed and still retain a bit of furniture without it looking too odd, you know, like sometimes when you've got a full width rock and roll bed and a little pod up the front just for like a cooker and a sink uh, or maybe a fridge in there, they do tend to look like a little island stuck out on its own. So um, not overly keen on those. But yeah, the U-shape is it's a fantastic format, really. It great, creates a great space on the inside of the van. Is it probably the best, most practical layout for a day van stroke camper? It has been said, hasn't it? You know, there's a, you know, a lot going for it. It's, uh, it's just a really nice setup. So... Um, there we go. So it's definitely one you should consider if you don't need seat belts anyway. Definitely a lovely um, big social area. So, um, yeah. OK, thanks very much for watching. We hope you all have a great Christmas. Um, that's it for us until the new year. Um, hope you um, all have a great time and um, we hope to catch up with you in the new year with some um, hopefully new products, new installs other bits and bobs hopefully we've got going on so um yeah 
have a great time guys uh, please do consider subscribing to the channel and give us a thumbs up it helps youtube share it so more people can then find it easily and and, and see it so and that helps us um that's brilliant thanks very much see you soon